Valerie told me that it had happened. She had tears in her eyes. I said, what, what's going on? She told me what it was. And, and there was a little mini celebration that happened between the both of us. And what I can tell you is, is that regardless of um, whether I'm the best brewer in Bend or whether it's just I have a wonderful support, to me, this is a celebration of our entire team here at Bevel Craft Brewing. You know, yes, I'm the guy in the brewery that, you know, cuts the grain bags and makes the beer and gets it into kegs, but we have a wonderful crew here that gets the beer into people's hands. We have a group of food carts here that gets food to people. And to me, it's, a, it's an overall group here at Bevel Craft Brewing. And that group, I believe, is who is really being supported by all of our customers, all the locals here in Bend. We've met so many wonderful people over the last year and a half. I, I'm just so thankful for the opportunity as well as the award, but just the opportunity to be here in Bend with such a great community is amazing. Well, it's interesting because I have just a little bit of experience from my previous job, which was being a professional disc golfer. At 20 years old, I won my very first world championship. And at that time, I was the new kid on the block. And you know, I think it's one of those things you just kind of put your head down and you do the work. And I knew being in such a great beer town with all of the wonderful brewers here and wonderful breweries that I was gonna have to do a little bit of the same. Just kind of keep my head down, focus on my craft, and, and really take advantage of the opportunities when I do get to meet the other brewers and, and, and get to chat with them about beer. When I first set out to open a brewery or had the idea of making beer for a living, I started as a home brewer. And when I was coming up drinking beer, I loved IPAs. I loved actually just the hop in general. Like any beer that made the hop sort of the predominant thing. When I first started drinking IPAs, bitterness was really king. West Coast IPAs were ruling the beer world. And uh, that all kind of transitioned over years. And right when we opened, hops were still the thing, but that old school West Coast traditional IPA had gone by the wayside. So over my home brewing, I really focused on trying to make more of hybrid IPAs, still that wonderful hop flavor, but a balanced bitterness. And that's what we ended up on. And for me, the favorite beers as a brewer, I love the Hop Tour series that we do. This is a, this is a beer that we take the exact same beer recipe and we take one individual hop and we add it in the exact same amounts at the exact same times every single time. And as a brewer, I get to learn new hops, ones I haven't worked with before, and I get to see how they react at different phases of brewing, whether it's on the hot side, in the whirlpool, or in dry hopping. And I think for me as a brewer, that's a, one of the, the funnest things I get to do. But if you had to pin me down and say, Nate, you got one beer to drink, it would definitely be the first round IPA. It's the beer that I brewed the most over my entire uh, brewing career, home brewing, and now professionally. And, uh, it's been a wonderful development, a work in progress, and it's great to see it here on draft at Bevel and people enjoying it. It's, it's, uh, it's a dream come true. For us, what's next is just to keep getting better and just keep having fun.